What's up guys, this is my UFC 146 prediction video. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the preliminary uh, Facebook or FX card. I'm just going to go straight on to the main card very quick. Uh, Mike Brown, Daniel Pineda, I'm picking Mike Brown. Uh, Carl Kingsbury versus Glover Teixeira, I'm picking Glover Teixeira. Paul Sass, Jacob Volkman, I'm picking Paul Sass. Dan Hardy versus Dwayne Ludwig, I am picking Dan Hardy. I hope he pulls it out. Uh, Mayhem versus CB Dalloway. I'm picking Jason Mayhem Miller. Uh, Edson Barboza versus Jamie Varner. I'm picking Edson Barboza. Diego Brandao versus Darren Elkins. Diego Brandao. <coughs> now here we go. Main card time. Uh, the f I believe this is yeah this is the first all heavyweight card. Um, I believe the only time there was a card with so many heavyweights on it, on the main card, it was UFC 28, uh, where they had four uh, heavyweight bouts. So the first one, the first bout, heavyweight bout, is kicking off with Stefan Struve versus LeVar Johnson. Um, for me, this is pretty much a pick and fight, because if LeVar Johnson can not get taken down... Uh, and stay on the f and keep it standing. Well, he's going to knock Stefan Struve out. Um, Stefan Struve's been very susceptible to getting knocked out. You know, uh, Junior dos Santos uh, knocked him out. Uh, Roy Nelson knocked him out. Travis Brownie knocked him out. Um, but his submission skills. He's got 15 wins out of his 20, 23 or 24 wins. 23 wins, all via submission and. Let's get real. Uh, Lamar Johnson got taken down and mounted by uh, Pat Barry, you know. So, you know, you know the you know the score, you know the deal there. Um, so I'm picking Ste I'm I'm picking Stefan Struve. Um, hopefully, he doesn't get knocked the fuck out. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pick Stefan Struve. I'm gonna go with my my heart instead of my head and go with Stefan Struve. Uh, the next fight is uh, Stripe Miosic versus Shane Del Rosario. Now, Shane Del Rosario, very talented prospect. You know, uh, the guys 11 and 0 beat Lavar Johnson via armbar, uh, and really, he hasn't really beat too many other people. I, mean, I know he's finished every one of his guys by like Tico or or submission, but. Um, Lavar Johnson's the pinnacle of his career. That's the biggest win on his ledger. Um, Street Miocic, Stripe Miocic has got a much uh, better caliber of uh, wrestling. He's an NCAA one champion. Uh, he's two and the UFC so far. Beat Joey Beltran in the unanimous decision and beat Philip DeFries. Uh, knocked him out in 43 seconds. Um, I'm going to pick Street Miocic in this one. I think uh, he's going to take it down and really wear on Shane Del Rosario. I think this isn't I think this is gonna go the distance this fight. Um but yeah I pick Stipe Miosic. Uh next fight is Roy Nelson versus Dave Harry Back Herman. Uh what was that in his last fight? What was up with all the body hair and I um, dunno. Um Roy Nelson's gonna knock him out. Uh that's pretty much all I have to say about that. He's going to knock him out. I mean, uh, Roy Nelson's looking in good shape. He looks in really good shape at the weigh-ins uh, last night. He looks really good. Um, people are saying, you know, he's not been looking too good. But look at the guys he's fought. And he's lost all unanimous decisions to these three guys. Junior Dos Santos, uh, Frank Mir and Fabricio Verdum, yeah? Frank Mir and Junior Dos Santos are fighting for the title tonight. And Fabrice Verdun, you know, the Fedor killer. Um, I'm gonna, I'm yeah, like I said, I'm going with Roy Nelson, knockout probably round one, if not round two. Um, now this is the fight I'm really looking forward to. It's Cain Velasquez, Antonio Bigfoot Silva. I've got heard a lot of, I've, I've seen a lot of prediction videos on YouTube, and I've seen a lot of people saying. Oh, Cain Velasquez, he's going to knock him out, or he's going to take him down, ground and pound him, and da 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 da. I think people really don't understand how good Antonio Silva actually is. He, I mean, he's not just, you know, oh, he's the second guy to beat uh, Fedor Emelianenko, and da 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 da. You know, he's, he's a real talent. He's 
got some really good Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, he's also a black belt in Judo, a black belt in Karate as well. You know, he's very talented, a very talented guy. Um, that said, um, I think Cain Velasquez is going to win, but I would not be surprised one bit if Antonio Silva won this fight. But that being said, I, will, I am picking Cain Velasquez in this. Uh, and the last bout is for the UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Um, Junda Santos and Frank Mir. Now for me, this is a very hard fight to call. Because you've got Junior Dos Santos who's definitely going to own it on the feet. But you've got Frank Mir who for sure is going to own it on the ground. Now the problem is what's going to happen if it does go to the ground. That's the big question. Everyone knows that if it stays on the feet, Junior Dos Santos is going to knock Frank Mir out. That, it's going to happen. Yeah, that's going to happen. Um, you know, you look at Frank Mir's last, last uh, couple of fights... Um, <clears throat> he, you know, got that amazing arm break submission over Big Nog. But Big Nog, if he wasn't stupid and tried to get a guillotine choke on him, cut th three, four more punches, the ref would have stopped the, that fight. You know, he, he tagged him really well. Um, yeah, he beat uh, Roy Nelson in that unanimous decision and beat Crow Cop, but, you know, Crow Cop was coming to the end. Uh, and he's he is susceptible, susceptible to getting knocked out. Brandon Vera knocked him out. Uh, uh, Brock Lesnar knocked him out. Shane Carmen knocked him out. You know, Mauricio Cruz back in the day knocked him out. Even Ian Freeman. If you look all his five losses, yeah, Ian Freeman, Mauricio Cruz, Brandon Vera, Brock, uh, Brock Lesnar, and Shane Carmen all TKO'd or KO'd him. So that just shows you where his weakness is, and it's that, it's that chin. Um, now to Junior Dos Santos, you know, there's nothing much to say. I mean, he's ran through everybody. Um, his only loss was a, was an armbar submission when he was five and zero to uh, Joaquim Ferreira, and that was back in 2007. So you know, it's five it's five years ago when he was just starting out. You know, he wasn't really even training a hundred percent then. Not like he is now. I mean, you look at his just his last his last few wins. I mean, the caliber of guys he's faced. Fabrizio Verdum, Stefan Struve, Krokop, Gilbert Ivel, Gabriel Gonzaga, Roy Nelson, Shane Carwin, uh, Kane Velasquez beat all those guys, you know. I believe he's 9-0 in the UFC. There's nothing much more you can say about him. Uh, I, I'm i going to pick Juno Dos Santos to win this fight. And I do think whether it comes in the first or second round, I think he's going to uh, TKO or KO Frank Mir. This is all depending on what happens if it does go to the ground. Because I think if it does go to the ground, Frank Mir's going to win. And I think um, we could... Because everyone's saying, well, you know, he has been training... Uh, Jim DeSantis has been training with Noguera and he's got a black belt with Noguera and da da Well, not for, not for nothing. If Frank Mir has submitted Noguera and no way is Juno Dos Santos even on par with his jiu-jitsu as Big Nog is, so, you know, the, that's a, that's irrelevant, you know, the, the jiu-jitsu game, if that goes to the ground, that's Frank Mir's world, that's what Frank Mir can't, I think he's hoping for this to go to the ground, but if the, the, you know, the $64 million question is, can he get Frank Mir to the ground, and if he does, sorry, can Frank Mir get uh, Dos Santos to the ground, and if Mir can do that, then I think Mir's going to win this fight quite quick. Um, but I, I do see this staying on the feet. Um, I, don't think, uh, I don't think it's going to go to the ground. And I, I can see this happening one or, two, one or two ways this happening. Either it's going to be a long, drawn-out fight where uh, Frank Mir's going to be able to withstand punishment, which I don't think that's going to happen, to be honest, and it goes to a decision, or... Junior Dos Santos is going to end this within the first round very quickly. And that's what I predict. I think Junior Dos Santos within the first or second round is going to uh, knock uh, Frank Mir the fuck out. Um, so that's my picks. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a recap, but I'm definitely going to... I'm, I don't think I'm going to do the Ultimate Fighter card because to be honest, I haven't watched this season of the Ultimate Fighter at all. 
I haven't really been intrigued in that it's live and this that and the other. So um, the next one I'll be I'll be coming on for will be the one on the eighth <clears throat> of June, which is uh, Ian McCall versus Demetrius Johnson. That looks like a real interesting fight. I'm really looking forward to this, this that second fight. Um, well, I'm gonna go and uh, enjoy the fights, guys. See you later. Bye.